To find out more about Synapis and learn about their training programs, go to www.synapis.org. Welcome back to the Synapis Business Competition. We are close to the finish line and will soon find out which two entrepreneurs will get an investment that will take their business one step further. You think you've heard it all? Well, think again. My story is, it takes me back to when I was in high school and students went on strike and burnt part of the school. Why? Because they did not like the changes that were brought in by the current administration, which happened to be my dad. <laughs> Loss of life, many of us have witnessed. And 84% of these emergencies could have been prevented. 96% could have been managed with no loss of life or property. Most people don't have the capacity to deal with emergencies, be it fire or disaster. They use any available resources that at their disposal. The solution for us, ICT Fire and Rescue, has been to invest and revolutionize the industry. We have invested heavily in um, emergency response. In 24-hour response, we have uh, invested in a control center, also in fully equipped fleet of vehicles, in a training center to be able to meet the needs of our customers. Through this, we have two main services that we offer our clients. Ambulance response, complemented by other smaller services. Fire response, that one too, complemented by other smaller services. How we do this? We do this through a dedicated response to our clients. Dedicated where we have an ambulance and a fire engine purely dedicated to that client when they need it. We also have a subscription model where we consolidate clients and then they subscribe to this system. Then we have our pay-as-you-go customers. They call us when they need us. We invoice them. We have also invested in a training college to ensure that we train our people properly to international certification. We have a control center and a dispatch area. This has been done through organic growth. Today, we need 300,000 USD. Why, you may ask? Because so far, we have a client ready to sign, ready to deliver emergency response by January 2021. We want to expand our training model to diversify our income to accelerate growth and increase revenue streams. You own 13 engines huh? to date, 13 engines, fire yes, engines. We do. Uh, uh, how are you looking to grow your, your, your offering given that you want to acquire or own these assets? Are there targeted places? Because you can only be in so many places at one time if you're looking at an acquisition model. Uh, have you considered leasing or partnering with people who own ambulances or fire engines. And then my second question is the name ICT Fire and Rescue. What, what is the meaning of ICT? Because for many people, ICT conjures technology mm -hmm. and those kind of things, not really fire and rescue. Yeah. And I think a name is very important in positioning sure. your business. Yes. The name stands for International Center of Technology. Mm -hmm. And so it's initialized. Okay. So really, I'm a technology person. Mm -hmm. And that's why how the name came along. Mm -hmm. And now it's gone into us being able to use technology mm -hmm. to offer these services as a mm -hmm. back, background <coughs> area. Yes, we are partnering with other clients, and uh, that is one of our phase three area. Mm -hmm. It has started, but we project, it's in our projection to be able to grow, to diversify our income. Everybody, not just men, wants to look good, right? Because when you look good, you feel good, right? Now, so important is looking good that the beauty industry is actually one of the fastest growing industries in the world today. 
In fact, if you look globally, the 2019 revenue for the beauty industry was actually $532 billion. And projections show that it's actually gonna double and hit a trillion dollars by 2023. Now, coming closer to home, in those four East African countries, in 2019, the beauty industry's revenue was about 1.2 billion US dollars. Now, I didn't know all of this when I got into the business of beauty. I was doing well in my career, I had some savings, I wanted to start a business, and everybody told me, Fungua Salon, you are going to become rich. And so I did, and I was confronted by the ugly side of the beauty industry. Now, I was really shocked to find, as a salon owner, that the products we were using on our clients contained extremely harsh chemicals, and actually they were causing more harm than good on our clients in the long term. There was a complete mismatch in the products that were available for us to buy and use on our clients, and in actually what my clients needed. And why was that? All the imports from Asia, from Europe, wherever it is, and they were not suited for African skin or for African hair. And I was looking around Kenya and we have all these natural ingredients, coconut oil, avocado oil, but it was really difficult to find products in Kenya that were made by these ingredients and available for us to buy. So Ethnic was born essentially to get the right product available to the Kenyan consumer, right? And we are actually a retailer, a multi-brand retailer, and we are working to become the number one source for good for you, natural beauty and personal care products for the ethnic consumer across East Africa. And 2020 started really well for us. Of course, until that V, we all know what happened there, COVID got into the country. As the, the disease penetrated into our communities and as the digital space became more sophisticated, the client wanted one space in which they can buy everything that they need for their beauty needs. And so we gave it to them. We are now a hybrid brand. We have physical shops and we have an amazing digital platform, ethnicshop.com. Please open it on your phones. It's an amazing space and we are really, really starting to sell natural products to the consumer in a big way. So what's the market size? I'll give it to you. So our main customer is a woman in the middle class between the ages of 20 to 44 and older, but mainly in the urban concentration. And we know that there are about 1.2 such women. We are looking to raise money to fuel our growth. Right now we sell a lot in Nairobi, but Kenya is a big market. East Africa is a big market. We have a lot of potential as a business. And even just the one million on offer today is gonna to have a huge impact on our business because the bulk of that is going to be invested in marketing and brand building. We're gonna strengthen our systems, build our management, but also help to build our operations a little bit stronger. Have you thought of making your own products? We do, actually, the coconut oil that you have. So by, I guess by talent, I am a formulator and we do have some products that we formulated. But I think the entry at which we can do that is based on the growth of our business. You're asking for, for financing. I'm not sure whether it's debt or equity of five million. Mm -hmm. uh, assuming it's debt, isn't that a lot for that kind of revenue and probably your profit margin? Um, if it's debt, we probably will not uptake it because we're not ready to finance an expensive loan, especially seeing how Kenya is right now as a business. So that's not something that we are looking for. Equity, 100%. This is exciting for us because we know we have a lot to learn and, and that's the kind of partnership that we want. It has been a thought-provoking time for the judges. Look, I think there's a big enough margin. Yeah. Okay. The margins Let's are check. big enough between one and two. Mm -hmm. It is now time to make a million shilling decision. I think, if, I think when they're close... Not wired block. I think, no, no, no. I think when they're close, yeah. maybe you can... You could, yeah. Make that two million shillings. With the deliberations complete, these finalists are ready to hear the results. All right, everyone. Well, it has been an amazing day together, an incredible competition, and I just want to say a few thank yous. So first of all, thank you to every one of you finalists. We are so remarkably proud of you. So thank you for all of the effort that you put into this, for the blood, the sweat, the tears. You are part of the Sinapis community and family, and we are so grateful to walk alongside you uh, throughout the competition and in the days to come. I also want to thank our amazing panelists of judges. Thank you for all that you shared today to add value into these businesses, for giving your time, your expertise, your humor. We're really, really grateful. And lastly, I want to th say thank you to the Synapis team. 
uh, for all of the effort that you've given, for your commitment to excellence, for your love of the Lord, love of those we serve. We absolutely can't do this without you. So thank you so much for everything you do to make an event like this possible. Guys, keep it up and let's push these businesses to the next level. And I hope that the lessons, the teaching, the coaching you have received from Snappies will be of use in a lifetime. Thank you very much. Well, this is the time that we are going to announce the early stage winner for this competition. As I said, we do not have losers. And indeed, the winner of the early stage is Chiswara. <laughs> So for the SME stage business, the winner is some suspense. <laughs> ICT Fire Services. Synapis is helping entrepreneurs understand and better their business practice. Are you an entrepreneur who has gotten stuck somewhere along the journey and cannot figure out how to proceed? Don't give up and check out the Synapis website. So we usually have at least one of our programs launching every month. So all somebody has to do is just log on to the website and see which one is best suited to their time because we have some that happen on evenings and others that usually take place on Saturday mornings. So just based off of when you're available, feel free to just check this website and see which time would best work for you. To find out more about Synapis and learn about their training programs, go to www.synapis.org.